Greek fire was a secret weapon of the Eastern Roman Empire. It is said to have been invented by a Syrian refugee named Falcinius in the 7th century. Well, Johnny, Greek fire was originally used by the Romans during naval battles. It was sprayed out of bronze tubes mounted on the front of ships and caught fire instantly when it touched water. Cool. So, Alex, we know a lot about Greek fire, but what does it consist of? Well, it's unknown. It's under much debate. But what we think it is, we think it's a petroleum-based product. We think it contains sulfur. We think it contains quicklime. Most of all, it contains medium oil, naphtha in Persian. Medium oil was found greatly around the Black Sea so they could easily have gotten a hold of it. And now, they, they could use it in many things. They mainly use it in sea battles. They put it on ships in siphons, and they shot it out at other ships. Or you could also you put them in jars and throw them. You could put them in catapults and launch them, but still, mainly in na for naval use. Pretty much incendiaries. They, they were incendiary weapons. Mr. Harvey, could you tell us a little bit about the second Arab siege of Constantinople? Sure, no problem. Well, in um, 717, uh, the um, Umayyad Caliphate, commanded by Masama ibn Abdal Malik, decided to uh, um, expand westwards into Europe. Anyway, as you probably know, Constantinople was a point between Asia and a point between Europe. So they, they needed to take that city. So they, they went to siege it with um, a force of 80,000 foot soldiers and 2,000 ships. Anyway, they were, they were devastated. Greek fire destroyed all their ships, and they they lost the, the battle. Anyway, that that victory for the Byzantine Empire stopped Muslim expansion in Europe for over 700 years. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nervsy. We have word from the king Mossam. What is your word? Your empire is to be crushed if you do not surrender to the mighty Arabian army. Follow me. You must understand, we don't have any chance of winning this war. You come into my city. You disrespect my wife. And you threaten my people with war. This is madness. You threaten to attack my people with 80,000 foot soldiers and 2,000 ships. And this is madness? This is Constantinople! We killed them, Captain. Good work. We're victorious. Look, First Mate Alex. Their forces are increasing. Man the Greek fire. Aye, aye, Captain. Allah. They're getting closer. Allah. 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 Yes, burn them. Burn them. Well, the Arabs have been successfully vanquished because of our amazing weapon. Greek fire. So how long was Greek fire effective for? Well, Greek fire was mainly, you know, the dominant weapon and really effective until gunpowder was created. By who? Uh, it was created by the Chinese. I invented gunpowder! So why was that? Uh, gunpowder was a superior weapon to... Uh, uh, Greek fire because it could be used long range and and, and it was more legal. What's that? Yeah. What's that? What's that? Arabs, 
Mind the Greek fire! For Allah! Yeah. Yeah.